So it has a brew. It actually feels like I haven't done one for ages, but I think that's because I've not done a proper one for ages. Um, so this is proper, um, actual, proper brew time as opposed to this pathetic thing I've been doing um, over the past couple of weeks. Um, this coming week I've got a confirmation and clearing to do, which is to do with the university and stuff like that. So um, I shan't be doing a lot of things I kind of planned on doing this week. And next week I then start my... It's, it's a new job, but it's my old job that I used to do. So I should be working full time. So brew time may or may not change, depends on what I'm doing. Um, because I haven't got the time after work to both record, edit and render a uh, video and then upload it and then do all the YouTube stuff as well. Because by the time you edit video together, that takes, well, recording the video takes about maybe half an hour. Editing the video takes maybe about an hour, two hours, depends upon what sort of content I've got on there. Rendering it takes, well, anywhere from uh, an hour to three hours, and uploading it can take, well, all night, really. So it, it's a bit um, it's a bit of a pain. So I might, f I should probably find that I'll record things on the Sunday, edit them um, either on the Monday or this maybe the Sunday, and then up, try and upload them for the Tuesday, either in the morning or in the evening. So um, it's going to be a bit of a bugger, but I'll see what I can do. And we'll go from there, and I'll try and work some out. So um, one of the first things, Apple's official charger rebate thing. So um, I mean, this is really good for Apple. I, I have to commend Apple for doing this. Um, a couple of days ago, a couple of, maybe a week, week or two ago, um, Apple turned around and said that they were going to give customers... Um, a discounted, um, a discounted official charger. If you hand in, hand over a third-party charger, and then this is because a few people have been badly electrocuted. And I think somebody may have died. I'm not too sure, uh, because they were using a third-party charger, and it wasn't properly grounded, and so that that sort of happened. The second thing that also happened was, um. At the recent, I think it was a Red Hat conference. I think it might have been DefCon actually. They um, showed somebody uh, creating a fake third-party um, a charger, which you could then connect to an iPhone and then could um, exploit the iPhone, so make calls on its behalf and all these other bits and pieces whilst it's charged up. So this is, um, which is kind of quite a big concern. So now Apple have turned around and said, right, we're going to do, um, we'll give you a We'll give you an official charger for less than you'd usually pay for it. I think it's about eight quid in the UK, um, and I think it's something like eleven dollars, twelve dollars in the US. Um, it might even be as much as fifteen. I'm not too sure. Um, if you hand in your third-party charger, and they'll give you an official one, which is really, really quite good. Um, they've expanded it to Canada, Australia, and UK um, for a minute, so that's quite good. Um, it was only going to be the US and China for a start because the Chinese, obviously. The, the kings of third party and knock off items, um, they they obviously kind of matter quite a bit. The other thing that happened, which I thought was quite amusing, was LG had a had an event in Seoul, which is South Korea, um, for their new smartphone. Um, I can't remember what the smart oh the new G2. So they have this new G2 coming out, and um, as a promotional spot stunt, what they decided to do was release a load of helium balloons, and in the helium balloons was uh, vouchers for the new S2. Um, which costs about what's it like five hundred quid something like that? Is it quite? It's quite a high-end smartphone. So LG did obviously the press release for it and said, yeah, you know, come down and have a look. Loads of people came down with BB guns and knives on sticks and all sorts of stuff to get ha get hold of it. Obviously, that's not quite what LG was planning and what they were hoping for. Um, so a lot of people got hurt. A lot of people got taken to hospital. Um, good guy LG though have actually turned around and said. We'll pay for all medical expenses, so if you put, um, they'll pay for everything, which is pretty good. Yeah, so I thought that was quite amusing. That was kind of quite, um, <laughs> mind you, it's pretty standard um, public, members of the public. You don't just generally don't do that, or if you do it, you just release them privately and then say, oh, if you find one, uh, we've just released all these healing balloons. Just, like, film it and then not invite people down. Um, and the, the last bit of news, really, is um, uh, some guys that are playing Dota 2, do some eSports stuff, I've won 1.4 million dollars, uh, which is probably about 900 and something, uh, 900 and something thousand uh, UK British pounds, um, which is quite, you know, it's quite impressive. Dota 2 was the original um, kind of Dota 2 and World of Warcraft and RPGs um, and MMOs and all uh, MMORPGs even are the original uh, competition um, competition. Uh, 
uh, games. Then you know they were the original esports games. The, the things that are played in esports bars in Korea and, and Asia and things like that. Um, and it's only really recently that things like COD has joined the scene. Um, only because the likes of um, MLG have got on board with COD and, and things like that, and MLG have taken off and all this other crap. Call of Duty isn't a competitive game at all. Um, although COD fanboys would say it is, it's not a competitive game at all. Battlefield 3 is a competitive game, I'll give you that. Um, you know, I quite, And I quite happily watch that because it's actually quite competitive. You do have to have tactics, you do have to use um, a lot more teamwork. I mean, you do have to use teamwork in COD routes, you end up. Um, I mean, you can use, you know, gun on gun sort of stuff, but you, this thing like 360 no skips and this other bullshit, it's just like, no, fuck off. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I do need to do a few reviews. Now, I was going to do them today, but I don't think I'm going to be able to do them today now because there's going to be too much effing noise in this house. So, um, I think I'll have to wait until the uh, the weekend maybe i'm working at the weekend but i'm only working four hours at the weekend so maybe the weekend maybe tomorrow but i don't know because I'm, I'm working a 47 hour week this week so it's gonna be chaos um two 12 hour days and stuff which is well it should be fun and pay the bills anyway so um i think that's pretty much it obviously hit me up on twitter at, as you chill there will be another competition um coming when i hit probably about 500 subscribers it's actually steadily increasing which i'm really impressed with um i'm not i don't really i'm not in it to to get popular and get famous but at the same time it'd be nice if that did happen so um and if there's any videos you actually want to see ask me about them because i quite happily do them or if there's any advice you want email me i quite happily help you out i've done that with a few people now um and people well there's two types of people those that are very very grateful and those that just then never talk to you again after giving you giving them the advice which is standard it though really but um i'm quite happy to help you out um and if you give me a bit of praise then great um fantastic um so i think that's pretty much it so apart from that i shall catch you in a later video